Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and what is BGP is a popular question being searched today on October 5th, because on October 4th, approximately 11.30 Eastern Standard Time, the world got more productive when Facebook went down. Now, this was obviously filled with conspiracies and crazy things like, well, did they get attacked? Did somehow Mark Zuckerberg have to be rebooted? We're not really sure what's going on. And of course, everyone's speculating going on and on about it and we now have a debrief we understand 24 hours later why it broke and why it's back up now well i don't really know why it's back up other than so people can post memes and share terrible ideas anyways facebook's back and the reality of it is bgp is one of those things that i think people should take some more time to understand and also pull their hair out screaming like is this really how the internet works is it really this delicate and yeah it is i've done a few videos on this topic before now cloudflare and facebook both have postings that i'll link to down below kind of a debrief and write-up but cloudflare also has a really good write-up on how bgp works so initially people thought it's dns because it's always dns it's the joke in the it community and the name servers of course were knocked offline but it was a lot more complicated than that to be very basic bgp is the routing protocol so all the different autonomous systems that each of these companies control can talk to each other or at least know how to talk to each other. This is what they call a BGP route announcement. So Facebook has their autonomous systems, Cloudflare has their autonomous systems, Comcast, Verizon, Level 3 Networks, and many, many companies you've never heard of that make up the backbone of the internet all have their own autonomous systems. Companies big, companies small, and lots of in between. Now, in order for us to know how to get from point A to point B, this is where the BGP route announcement system comes in and plays a role in this. Companies have to announce where they're peered with, what other autonomous systems, and this is how the resiliency of the internet is supposed to work. So if you're peered with several different places, you announce your peers and the peers accept the routes and everyone can talk. And from a end user standpoint, this is very invisible. When you go to facebook.com, it always finds the most efficient route wherever Facebook has these autonomous systems peered with the other autonomous systems that are related eventually back to the ISP you used that transported you across to get to these. But with great power comes great risk. And that great risk is uh, if you push the route wrong and you announce them all wrong simultaneously because you built some type of automation tool that didn't validate these route changes, you can suddenly point to nothing and uh, no one knows how to get to you and you can't get to anything. Now, this caused a cascading calamity of errors over at Facebook that essentially it sounds like they were unable to even access the tools that they needed to revert this. This is why the outage was not just like, hey, undo and hit that reverse button. Uh, somehow when this system got automated, pushed, these route changes that were not valid were accepted by all of Facebook's global data centers and all their different autonomous systems. And uh, yeah, they went down and they had no way to do it other than to go into each of these places and kind of, you know, plug in and hit the undo button. But then as I understood that it became a bit more challenging because people that were physically at those locations didn't have authorization or understanding of how to undo what got pushed from the main headquarters out to these systems. So this whole back and forth uh, took roughly five hours, six hours of outage. And you got to remember it even after fixing it, there's a series of queries that are all hitting these because everyone's refreshing their Facebook on their phone and looking for it. So it eventually came back online for better or worse. So that's what happened. No big conspiracy, no real nefarious things happen. Oops accounts for more outages in the tech industry than any type of threat actor. If you work in IT long enough, you'll just shake your head a lot at how delicate these systems actually are. And I actually had a fun time explaining to my dad who does not really use technology. He heard that the internet broke and I thought it was funny that it reached someone like my father, who's not very tech savvy. And uh, he said, how oh, the internet breaks son. Cause you know, he thought I had something to do with it. So it was amusing and it was fun. I told him I would do a video <laughs> explaining that it's really kind of uh, more delicate that this system that was designed by DARPA to survive nuclear wars and attacks um, can be a couple button presses away from partial outages that 
a system that people find really important. And if you follow back through my BGP video that I have when Verizon accidentally accepted a bad route change, and uh, yeah, you can see that we lost internet and part of the Eastern Seaboard. So this incredibly robust system can really fall victim to really simple commands and people going, oops, and uh, the famous words of, well, now we know that can happen, that probably were set. That people go, well, yeah, this is, uh, it's a lot more delicate than you think, and uh, it's not really anything you have to have a conspiracy for other than people sometimes press the wrong set of keys and uh, that happens so i'll leave links to the cloudflare and facebook post uh and do take the time to read if you want to get a deeper understanding of how bgp works cloudflare has a really good write-up on that and uh it's an interesting protocol it's something i find kind of fascinating and uh yeah hopefully as we need more people in this industry that don't do oopses and can look over the shoulders of the people uh before they push these oopses that'd be great or maybe if there was some way to validate changes you know well, there is, but hey, you know, that's throw safety to the wind. Don't they have a policy over there? Like break things fast? Maybe policy might have changed now. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.